My name is Vernon Barry. I'm 15 years old. I'm a sophomore in high school. My name is Claire. I'm six years old. I'm in first grade. My name is Honor. I'm 12 years old. I'm in seventh grade. My name is Eliza. I am 13 years old. I am in eighth grade. My name is Madeline, and uh, I am 10, and I'm in first grade. Madeline was diagnosed at uh, about an hour old. Claire was diagnosed uh, just a couple days shy of uh, her six month birthday. When Eliza was about eight weeks old, I noticed that she wasn't able to focus. Her eyes were really moving around a lot and um, I was concerned that, that maybe she just wasn't seeing. Brendan was diagnosed with glaucoma um, on Friday night. He was born on Friday morning. Honor was diagnosed with glaucoma in 2006. Yes, we were, we were extremely lucky that Brendan was diagnosed almost immediately and started treatment within uh, two weeks. Eliza Zanaridia was diagnosed early and because of that we found Dr. Walton. We had been told that um, she was going to lose her vision by the time she was in high school. It was, uh, it was, it was immediate that we were comfortable with Dr. Walton. Uh, we were extremely stressed and we saw him a week after Brendan was born and uh, the first minute he took Brendan into, uh, into his arms to hold him, we knew we were in the right place. From the moment we met him, we knew we were in the right hands. Um, he picked up this tiny little six pound baby and was concerned about her general well-being. Oh, he's such a caring man. When he walked in the room, um, he immediately picked her up he had his briefcase full of tools, he set it down and he just held her and looked at her and said, she is a beautiful child. Awareness uh, efforts are really very important because glaucoma is a progressive illness and what is lost uh, while it exists with a high eye pressure is not retrieved. Uh, so the early recognition of glaucoma with its increased eye pressure is essential to save vision. I did not know children could be born with glaucoma. I had never heard of it before in pediatric patients. I had no idea children could be born with glaucoma. I did not know that children could be born with glaucoma and um, I just assumed it was something that you developed as you became older. When my daughter was born with it, I was shocked and um, very surprised to learn that children can get glaucoma and that it's the leading cause of childhood blindness. It was really difficult to deal with uh, and Dr. Walton kept uh, reminding us that this is a marathon, not a sprint. He, he said, you're just lacing your shoes up in Hopkinton at this point. So uh, get ready for a long ride, but we'll be there together. The Children's Glaucoma Foundation has really, over its uh, lifespan now of 50 years, has really focused on three goals, four goals, in fact, to support basic research, to support awareness programs, to assist physicians with equipment and with training, and to, to support patient care. Uh, there's not a person in this room who hasn't felt the uh, the anxiety and the discomfort of their child's glaucoma not being detected earlier. So awareness uh, teaching has been very important for us. Madeline goes to see Dr. Walton every three months. Uh, it depends. Uh, last year we spent a lot, of, a lot more time than we wanted to with Dr. Walton. My daughter doesn't see Dr. Walton very often um, because he basically cured her. She goes to see Dr. Walton probably three times a year, every four months. Dr. Walton, we always love to go to see Dr. Walton. He's such a special man. He always makes you feel good. Um, it's a double-edged sword because you sit there and you want to make sure the pressures are okay. As soon as he gets done checking the pressures, I'm immediately on top of his paper seeing what number he's writing. Uh, but yes, no, we, we enjoy seeing Dr. Walton, uh, but usually the less you see him, the better the child's doing with his glaucoma at that time. So I just feel like knowing that he exists in this world, that Dr. Walton makes such a difference in people's lives and that um, he's really an angel. He's just such a wonderful person and um, I will forever be indebted to him. I love to go in there, and um, but I'm always nervous about 
Okay, where's the pressure today? I have to go to the doctor all day, uh, every three months. I like it because uh, Dr. Walton is funny. Dr. Walton cured my book coma when I was in first grade, so I don't need to see him that much. Yes, I like to go see Dr. Walton. I like to go and see him because he always like, asks you what's going on in your life, and he makes you feel, it doesn't feel like you're going to a doctor's appointment. I go to Dr. Walton's once every three months. My favorite thing about Dr. Walton is that he's really nice and I feel really confident with him taking care of my eyes. My favorite thing about Dr. Walton is that he listens to me and knows what's best for my eyes. He also values my opinion. My favorite thing about Dr. Walton is the stories he tells. When he was in college, he was a two-sport athlete and he always has an interesting story. My favorite thing about Dr. Walton is that he helps me keep my eyes healthy. The Children's Glaucoma Foundation was conceived by Mr. and Mrs. Barry and functions to assist and to improve uh, the, the care of children with, with glaucoma. There are no, there's no other organization in, in the world which focuses on, chi on childhood glaucoma. And the, not, not only have we focused on it, but we, what we have accomplished in a very real way is not rivaled but by, by any other organization. That the Children's Glaucoma Foundation, while being small, is, uh, has been a giant in terms of its support uh, of clinicians, basic research, uh, awareness programs, and it's not rivaled. And we need to continue what we're doing. horseback ride, swim on a swim team, and to play soccer. I love to play guitar, play violin, sing, um, play lacrosse, and swim. Um, I like to horseback ride, play soccer and basketball, and snowboard. I like to um, dance and do gymnastics. I love to play basketball. I was the manager of the freshman team, and then after their season ended, I went with the varsity for the state tournament. We got to go to the garden. My visual impairment does not limit me because I can do everything that everyone else in my family does. I don't feel that glaucoma limits me at all because I have really good vision and I'm able to do anything anyone else can do. Daddy, do you think glaucoma has stopped you from doing anything? No. No. Um, I do a lot of things that most kids do. Obviously there's some things that I don't, but most, most of the time I do everything else. It makes me sad that kids have glaucoma and they're not cured and that they haven't found Dr. Walton. Kids with an audio or uh, visual impairment can do anything if they just try to. I feel that it's like not a good disease to have, but if you get it treated early enough, it, you can still have a pretty successful life. and. Enjoy everything that you do. We certainly want to, to be able to expand our support for the medical care of glaucoma patients coming to Boston for, for care. And it's been actually in the past the smallest area of our activity for financially. And as I look to the future, uh, I hope to be able to, uh, to, uh, to expand this in cooperation with the medical facilities here and to, so we can do this in a much more uh, successful way for, for larger numbers of patients. My message is that even though people with visual impairments struggle with many things, just listen to us because we do know it's best for our eyes. I want to say thank you for all that he, he's done for me. Thank you for keeping helping me keep my eyes healthy. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for everything that you've done and how you never give up and you always do your best. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Walton for curing my glaucoma. I want to uh, take this opportunity also to thank all of you for, for the really tremendous support of the Children's Glaucoma Foundation over what will be our 15th year next year. Because anything that we've said that we have done and certainly anything that we want to do in the future will as it has in the past depend on you 
And as you know, that the Children's Glaucoma Foundation has been supported entirely by the generosity and gifts of parents and friends of, of families of children with glaucoma. So whatever we've accomplished relates entirely to, to what you as a uh, U.S. supporters ha have made possible.